congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives us great honor to be here today among the most remarkable universities all over Egypt. And actually, this is the first time for Kafrishi to participate in this outstanding national competition. And we hope it's not the last. Through the next 23 minutes, we are going to present our projects. Besides, informing people about the stock market and how to trade as well. As for the procedure of this project, first, we were, we were organized that we ignored on the impact of the political situation on the Egyptian economy, and we invited 70 students to attend the seminar. Furthermore, we were organized that we on how to save the Egyptian economy, stock market investment, and business ethics. And the amazing meet, 350 students attended the seminar. Next, we selected the student club and we are measured to in Egypt future fund. Finally, we've organized a follow-up to investors through a staff of property firms and a representative of the banks. In this project, we achieved the social factor by increasing the awareness among people and the best and, and the development of their and the development of their investment thought as well. We also as for the economic factor we have tried so hard to achieve it through, through raising the level of both individuals' income and the state's one. Hence, this way, we guarantee the item of sustainability of trading in the stock market. Since the person's desire would last the whole year, as a result, this will help them gain good experience which helps them work in the stock market. The second project, Victor. 
Our main target in this project is creating a clear, sophisticated, and disease-free village, besides providing good treatment for the animals of this village. As for the first step, it was actually the harvest, as we had to submit the poorest village all over the villages of Fakrashi. And we managed this through the assistance of Fakrashi Support and Information Center, as the center gave us a list including 12 villages of all the villages of Kafrishi. And depending on this research, we found out that El Hadud village is the poorest and the most indigent village of Kafrishi. Of course, we defined the criteria in which we follow when we selected their village, as we divided the Hadud village into five parts, and each part was the concern of four members of, of, four members of our team. And according to a survey which was made by our members which, made, which was made by our members during the research in this village, we concluded that the spread of disease among the among the livestock was the main reason of um, of of decreasing of the farmers' productivity. The next step was processing of the village and arranging for veterinary medical convoy for the treatment of common diseases among the animals there. And we also held a session entitled <coughs> Awareness of Common Diseases and How to Keep Your Animals Healthy. Finally, we estimated the total profit by monitoring the livestock and farming and work as well. As for the economical factor, we achieved that through aid and veterinary treatment of livestock to help the farmers increase their production. As during our investigation, we found out that if a farmer had to sell his animal in the world and one of them needed treatment, so its productivity was decreased. However, if we tried to treat the infected cat, so its productivity was increased. And as a result, the farmer's income was increased too. As for the social sector, we know very well what life itself means to farmers. And, and as long as those animals are kept in a good shape, farmers will not be satisfied. And consequently, they will work hard and their production will increase. As for the environmental factor, we actually did our best to help farmers overcome the diseases which which threaten their livestock. We have arranged for some pets to help peasants treat and deal with livestock. We also empowered them how to cure their animals on emergencies. Moreover, we showed them how to keep their places clean and we informed them about hygiene, what it means and how to apply it on, on their daily life. It's remarkable to claim that we ensure sustainability by making periodic vet medical convoys each six months or a year. It's according to the situation in the world. The third project is RAC. As a matter of fact, rice grew as considered the golden, as considered the yellow gold, especially in a government rate like ours, Kafrishi. As Kafrishi produces about 26% of Egypt's total production of rice. And that's why our main target was to empower our farmers to use rice grow in agriculture instead of burning it. And actually, burning rice grow affects the environment badly as it contributes in forming the black cloud and also it's the main reason of increasing the atmospheric temperature and consequently raising the global warming rate. And as for our targets, we tried to shoot two birds with one stone as we were planning to improve farming by using rice grow in agriculture instead of burning them. In this way, we decreased the amount of excessive atmospheric temperature, which is the main reason of global warming. Another vital target which we've been trying to achieve is to produce organic fertilizers in order to increase the fertility of land rather than using harmful chemicals. As for the procedure of this project, <coughs> the first procedure of our project was to select an herbal piece of land, which was like a rock. Then we selected farmers and we trained them on how to make new rice straw in different useful ways, in this case of Westernet. And also, we, we organized the element of, of supervision with assistance of the Faculty of Agriculture, the Faculty of Agriculture in Kaprishin University, represented by Dr. Sahakari. The next step was to distribute about two tons of fields of rice straw on the land and to water them using drip irrigation techniques. Afterward, we grew zucchini into this field. We also didn't forget to follow up the procedures of the project. 
step by step. By recording and putting present the various activities of the project. Furthermore, we set the farmers and empower them to pay more attention to our tribe's job. And we showed them the outcome. Then, we are planning to hold a seminar and a training course to help to inform more farmers. And we are also are planning to collaborating with agricultural associations so that we can spread awareness among more and more farmers. As for the economical factor, we have M8 reducing the cost of the product and at the same time increasing its production. As, as the total estimated cost of the product was 700 pounds and knowing that one carat produces 200 kilograms of zucchini each three months and the price of one kilogram of zucchini was about 400, about 400 pounds for, for about four pounds and, <coughs> and with a simple calculation we have estimated that the profit of the project is 100 pounds over three, over three months it's notable to mention that our governor, Kafir Sheikh, produces about a million tons of rice straw. And this, this great amount can cover approximately 9,000 pedants of non arable lands. As for the social factor, our concern was creating a various, a various type of jobs opportunities for young men to help them earn money and spend their free time doing your school activity. One of the main targets of this project is informing people about the alternative of how to make use of rice straw instead of burning it. And for the environmental factor, as we mentioned before, we contributed in decreasing the rate of global warming through expanding the green areas, using the rice straw instead of burning it, and finally, saving water by using drip irrigation technique and watering the plants. When there is strong mulberry in the soil, the soil, be the soil becomes more, the soil becomes rich in organic fertilizer. And as a result, the fertility of the soil will increase. To guarantee the elements of sustainability, we are planning to apply this project on a larger range and to meet because of a lot of vulnerable lands. The first project to Fushu, <coughs> so a city in Kafrishi, known as the city of mosques, is located in the far north of Egypt and exactly in the far north of the central Delta, overlooking the Rosetta branch of the Nile. Fila was selected by Museums Without Borders organization and also by the UNESCO as a natural reserve and it's also considered the third Islamic city all over Egypt after Cairo and Rosetta. And amazingly enough, it's considered the fourth Islamic city all over the world in terms of Islamic monuments. And depending on the census, until 1999, Fuwa has 365 mosques, tombs, and ancient places. As for the, as for the procedure of this project, we, Said Kafir Sheikh University, established a project and campaign and campaign in collaboration with Fuwa Heritage Organization. This campaign entitled Fuf Wushu. The main objective of this campaign was to enlighten the Muslim tour throughout organizing night cruises and sightseeing trips around home in order to inform people about this and its amazing Islamic treasure. And we also established exhibitions for handicrafts and Tanura performance. I hope you watch it one day. I hope you watch it one day. You like it. And we have been organizing for a trip each month since the beginning of our project. Of course, we didn't save a credit to make these people to, to make these people satisfied, since, since they are the, the main source of an attractive propaganda for Fowl. And we also created a page on the social network Facebook to inform people about Fowl and to help them explore the hidden treasures of this not very well known town. As for our targets, the first and the main target of our project is the revival and development of the Egyptian heritage. 
beginning with the city of Oum, of Oum, through first, the revival of Islamic heritage of Oum, second, the revival of artistic heritage and handicraft, which is to retain their ancient style, such as spinning and women, it, 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 it. drug and the upholstery business, and the industry of copper and aluminum. The third, the third target is the revival of the cultural heritage of Thor, due to its tradition of the Egyptian people through the establishment of folk concerts. Finally, revival of social heritage through encouraging the artists and handicrafting business ideas and providing them with the possibilities of marketing their products. As for the second target of this project, activation of domestic tourism in Egypt. Third, it's a change of trips um, among other cities which are reaching heritage. Fourth, Inform the people about our city worldwide and make it an, an, an amazing uh, uh, place for tourists from all over the world. As for the social factor, we've been working on enlivening domestic tourism by giving people information about Thawa, which increased their acknowledgement about forgotten places in their country. As for moving near, as for moving near business ethics, business ethics, as for moving near business ethics, business ethics, special, special compassion. We achieved it through our first project, Barsa Up. We held a seminar on how to see the Egyptian economy, store market investments, and the business ethics. And we also, and we also, and we also, and we also are increasing them, increasing the awareness among people and the development of their investment thought as well. And and we also empower them how to take the business, business ethics in considering during during working in the stock market. As our fourth product, uh, as our fourth project, to Fushuf, we aim at empowering, we aim at empowering, empowering artisans to to mark, to market their products, to market their products under, to market our, their products under the, under the control of under control of business ethics rules. We also <clears throat> Finally, we can conclude that we've achieved side main criteria as follows. As for the environmental factor, we can observe clearly that we try to maintain the environment the environment and, th and that we and that we empower people to keep it clean. And as we saw, global er global warming has taken much attention and also creating the urban land what has been our main part. As for the social factor, we've managed to broaden the horizon the horizons of people by giving them information about not very well known places like Thoban. And also we did our best to provide you with job opportunities, as we saw in the project of price draw and stock market. And also, we've tried very hard to help the good people who are really in need, to help them to be independent, to make them, to make them believe in themselves and that they can really make, they can really make a difference in their lives. As for the economical factor, it's very clear that in the first project for the up, we contributed in raising the standard of living of people and consequently the Egyptian economy in general. While in another project like Israel, we come Right.
is true, you create a new source of income to farmers, and consequently, they will work, uh, they, they will increase their uh, standard of living. As for the effect of empowerment, in all of our projects, we decided to empower those people in need to help them, to help them keep working on the light of the information and the guidelines we gave them. As this is the first year for SAI to be in Kafrishet University, we faced many problems along this year, including low budget, a non sufficient cooperation from the university, and the low recognition from people through SAI either. However, we decided to continue our way. Thanks to the motivation we got, seeing the smiles of people's faces when we give them a hand. And it's been a long way that brought us up here today. Days and nights of hard work, lots of ups and downs, lots of tears and laughter. But we always, always had the picture of the smiling people in our minds. And that picture always gave us motivation to go on. As a little smile can it change a man's life forever. As a science of shape, we believe one thing. There's no art. You cannot feel your success.